Let's go back to go to the airship landing. Where is this? Not far from us. We got this attuned. Yeah. So let's make a run for it. Seems to save right. Okay. Yeah, ship took a turn. Has, are you ready to depart, madame? The airship is bound to camp. Dragon Top. We've, we'll be leaving shortly. Let's go. Upon an airship, conceived within the fecund mind of Sid Garland, renegade prodigy of Garlemald, who had come to call Eorzea home. High into the heavens, where isles of earth and stone floated as clouds, a frontier the knights of Ishgard had scarce begun to explore. To a fledgling outpost, within the sea of clouds, where careworn scouts ever scanned the skies for winged shadows, she came. Emlan. Awfully cold up here. I mean, Kurfus may not be blessed with the warmest weather in the world, but compared to this, it seems possibly bombing. And of course, our hero is wholly undeterred. You don't have to maintain that strong, silent persona all the time, you know. Never mind, we need to find Lady Levenet. She is in charge of the garrison here. Oh, and when we find her, just just follow my lead. Yes, excellent. It's gone to the this A for eight.
There we go. The net. <clears throat> Mr. Saf Moon, welcome. I am Sir Lenonet of Palantir, commander of the forces stationed here at Camp John Cloudtop. Strange and though it may sound, I have long dreams of meeting you. I am in your debt. You see, I shall ever remain so. Were it not for you, my younger brother, Franciel, would have been executed upon of a false inquisitor. Alas, a knight must, not, must go where duty demands, and thus I have been able to seek you out. But by the grace of Halone, I have been granted an opportunity to thank my brother's saviour in person, and call upon the generous aid besides. Truly, I am not what I have done to deserve a double blessing. Um, it is a pleasure to see you again, Lady Lenonet. You cut an elegant figure as always. A steel clad rose, equally to ha at home on the battlefield or in a ballroom. Lord Aman, if it's not too much to ask, I would I should be grateful if you would allow me to finish speaking with Mistress Half Moon. Camp Dragon Top it was established to provide for every early warning of the impending Dravanian incursions. The high elevation required to the floating I always mix it ideal for that this purpose. Naturally, it makes us ready target a ready target for, for attack. We are not defenseless, however. The protector, our largest and most advanced airship, is capable of downing all but the mightiest dragons. Alas, you may be have noticed it's currently undergoing repair. That is worse. Our efforts have been unhampered by an indigenous beast tribe known as the Vanu Vanu, with whom we have had several skirmishes already. No beastman is a match for the man of Ishgard. Bring me a birdman and I will show him a thing or two. I fear much I fear much and more may be asked of you in these days to come, Mistress Athme. Let's talk to Nett Nett again. An indispensable ally. Lady Nett knows all too well what might be done to ensure that your time spent at Cabin Dragon Top is for not for nothing. While I didn't understand Count Edmund's intentions, I'd rather not waste invaluable time ensuring that the young lord doesn't get trampled underfoot. True, it is hardly possible that he may learn something from his experience, but he is yet but if left to his own devices, I think it's far more likely he will make a mess of things. Tell him, tell him that I would like him to keep watch for Advanian outflyers. Then, when you have a moment to speak with the man served in private, make it clear that it is his responsibility to keep Amalen from stroking his duty. Okay. Hmm, a request for Amalen. Why didn't she think to ask me in person? Surely she could, must see me standing here, but a few yams away. Oh, never mind. What is it? <gasps> a mission? Yes, yes, of course. This is why I'm here. I shall do my lady. Do as my lady asks. Ah, Mistress Harmoon, I do not believe I have the proper introduction to myself. I am Hornot. I serve the pressure of Lord Amalan. Lord Nett would have me accompany Lord Amalan on his mission? I understand completely. I will do my utmost to keep him out of harm's way. Where were he another house, mayhap? I would not feel obligated to go to such lengths to preserve his safety and dignity. In any case, I appreciate you speaking to him for me. It would seem he actually listens to you, at least more than others. Or mayhap you are more skilled at his at this than most. I expect you have had the humour of your fair share of difficult men before. Hmm... Oh 
bila bodoh apa semua? Okay. And that meeting the neighbors. Lady Ned is eager to get to more important math business. Now that the Kamlan is out of harm's way, we are free to discuss matters of actual import, such as your struggle as I struggles with the Vanu Vanu. We incurred the Vanu several years ago when we just begun to explore the Sea of Clouds. After an exchange of pleasantries and gifts, we received permission to construct a permanent lookout post. There was peace between our peoples for half a year until suddenly, for reasons unknown, their attitudes towards us changed. They began to attack our foraging parties without provocation, forcing us to rely more heavily on supplies flown from in from Ishgard. But words are not substitute for first-hand experience. Go and see Sir Merlin and she could use your assistance. Okay? Mistress Half Moon, I presume. Lady Nanette told me you were coming. I heard, I heard tell you you had never faced a Vanu before. Well, spent spent enough time on patrol, and you should be cross paths with them eventually. Those birdmen are ni ni native to the floating isles. I say birdmen, but they are not all, at all like the Ixul, unless the Ixul's mother was a Gigas. Here. Tell, let me mark several locations on your map. If you discover any bunny in the areas, kill or drive them away. Okay. We have enough things happening now. to the next spot. Okay, that makes cat noises. Well, I think it's a bat maybe. You stir yourself for a mighty struggle, you find no value laying in wait.
Okay, thanks. Go back. Finished with your patrol? Anything to report? Hmm, maybe it was too much to hope for, for a day without a skirmish. At least I can take the solace in the fact that the whole has blessed us with a mighty ally. Sense of urgency. The undisciplined unit is is a unit rape for destruction. Destruction. Has Murinos. Expecting our recent clashes with Vanu, it cannot be escaped. Are you already noticed that things here are rather peaceful? It is due to our garrison's discipline. Despite being built on as an opposition post, we have yet to record a single intrusion by the horde. That is why, as far as everyone is concerned, Crab Cloud Talk is a black backwater of no s significance. And of course, the pride of our camp and vaunted protector, it is in pretty state of needing repairs. So even were to hold. So even were the Holy Sea to come under Trevanian attack, we would unable to fly to their aid. Simply put, present Mr. Shami, yeah, Mr. Safmu, there is where ambition comes to die. If you haven't aspirations for advancement, you'd be right. You'd be all right at home. However, I would like to think of you, Fusion. So, can you just go and contagious us? As Empathy. If you can dodge me, I would have you seek out centuries and stroke their spirit to spirit. Psych them up, if you might, might you say. Okay. and find these people. Whatever in possessed you to do that. I'm awake, I'm awake, not worry not. After the shock you just gave me, I doubt I'll sleep for a fortnight. 
Well, sorry. I'm your superiors. Now we go home to like a Milan up, which I can't see it being a good thing. How do we get down there anyway? Oh, let me get down first. Oh. Attack? What should we do? What should we do? He had fooled me there for a moment, old girl. An amusing jest. A bit a tad cruel. Surely you must have realised how unsuited I am to monitor of more mere sentry duty. Yet still you attempt me with the promise of excitement. No, this won't do. This won't do at all. Lady Nets will give me a grand mission as befits my station. Yeah, not a good thing. So now we need to go and psych out one more person. Gods, what did that come from? Fine, if you insist, I'll make an effort to stay alert. But really, if I fail to see the point, by we're hundreds of moms away from the front lines, which is just the way I like it. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's go back. Many thanks, Mr. Sutherland. Already I can see a change in our sentry's behaviour. Beg your pardon? Lord Amalan said what? Uh, well, I have no doubt that Lord Anand will do her utmost to oblige him. Okay. Ooh. Hope springs eternal. Sir, uh, Marbell fears that what might have come of Lord Amalan's newfound ambition. If Orman is going to demand a more dangerous duty, then I expect, expect Lady Nanette will want you to accompany him. Uh, you might as well speak with her sooner rather than later. There is no use of avoiding the inevitable. Okay, let's go. Oh no. That scared me. Okay. Leave me be. Okay, let's go and talk to Lana. Mr. Safmi, Norma has just informed me that mere sentry duty is beneath him. I ask them you have and then we have you to thank for his infancy. Well, there's nothing for it but to give him something more demanding. Then I can count on you to keep him safe. 
Excellent. We are in need. We're in constant need of fresh water from Cloud, Cloud, Cloud Top. There is no underground source so we can tap into with with wells. However, there is a unique variety of crystals we can recently discover, which may have been able to obtain water through other means. These springs crystals can be found by Four San Saran to the east here. I would have you and your man bring one back to us. You may have content with the fur of beasts which populate their the lakes, not to mention Vanu scouts raging from the nearby settlement. Of course that all pales in comparison to keeping the young lord entertained, but you have doubtless grown accustomed to, to that by now. Good luck and be safe. Hmm? Lady Nett told you to tell me about the mission once again? If I didn't know any better, I swear she's avoiding me anyway. What is it? Vital mission to this, on the success of which the very survival of Crank Jungle rests. The prerogative of protocol water. Finally, it's almost time to, she entrusted me with a mission of real import. Right, then let's go, let's go. So this is the pure sun siren of legend and nearly a value in sight. How disappointing. I will do with some sport. I know, why don't you and I make it a competition? Whoever finds the superior specimen wins. Honorable shall judge our entries on size, purity and say you finsky sensibilities. Let us begin at once. He's eager to jump into the fray. This sort of crisis does not appear to exhibit the properties described by Lady Nett. Perhaps she should suspect another. This corridor does not appear to be with the properties of, you know, not that one.
This crystal appears to be second a steady stream of water. Mayhaps this is the spring crystal maybe in that peaks. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, Mr. Sadman, we have you bought the Arrange for con the contest. Indeed. My outside of such things limited, but can this sh truly be used to draw mo moisture from the air like water from the pump? Fascinating. A series of unfortunate events. Water is more than a little concern for Lord Eminem's well-being. Lord Eminem has been gone for an awful long time. Did you by chance to see him while you were searching for your crystal? Even he must realise the dangers of wandering off too far in such a place. Mayhap I'm worrying about nothing, but I must ask that you insist me in looking for him. Mr. Tathman, we should shall find him more quickly if we split up. Pray search the southwestern area of the Vanu San Sarion to swiftly as you are able to run through with me to the north. Farewell. Good luck. Okay. Where is the young lord gone? You serve the surrounding area for for a time, but see no signs of Amalan. Okay, let's go and report Back to Cornot. Bumping that's in that name, right? It's just half moon, look, Amalan, Lord Mahal has been taken by the Vanu. They have me, my lord, surrounded, a whole gang of them. Please, you must come quickly. Let's go and... or not.
do the calls come in okay so we gotta go get to the vanu vanu The Vanu must have taken him into the village. It may help to present their to their chieftain. I will make haste to Roadhouse and tell Lady Net what has happened. Yet, yet by the same time I return with aid, it may already be too late. Forgive me for asking, Mr. Half Moon, but could should you spy an opportunity to speak? Past the centuries and rescue Lord Amanan. In my absence, I beg you take it. I know he can be a trifle presumptuous and insensitive and, well, insufferable, but he doesn't deserve this. Okay, let's do what we can. You're you're not going to eat me. Oh, Violet, I'm over here. Bye. Okay, let's hit these guys down.
Come on. Okay, let's go. to complete. Blackest storm clouds offer netherlings to the white. Cloud sea swells and he comes. Bismarck, Lord of the Mists! A flying whale? By the fury, it's a primal! We must away! Typical. All right, we're going in. Aye, aye, aye chief. chief.
gods only knew what might have happened if had we not been around to save you. No need to thanks, though. It's not as if I haven't done the same all for us on a few previous. If you haven't done this for the previous, same for us on the previous occasions. All right, more than a few. It was but the blind chance that brought us together this time. In a, in a case, you were you wandering the Holy Seal as petitioned the Ironworks for assistance with the creation of theirs protection. Apparently, they can't, just can't seem to get her flying. Anyway, I came to Camp Rup Cloudtop to cast an eye up over the ship, only to learn that you had arrived some few days before with an Ishgar Lordling in tow. Small world, I thought, just has said Lordling Mansurvis skittered into view, babbling about his master having been captured and you risking all to rescue him. At the rest, as you they say, is history. Right then. Right, well, I hate to cut this short our reunion, but I have... But I am here on business after all, and the boys are already hard at work. Don't worry, old friend, we will speak again soon, I promise. For Amalan. The war long in coming. Dormalan appears to be rather pleased with himself. Vero, I admit, it was an incredibly harrowing experience. I could very well have died, you know. Me, dead? On the other hand, I be, by risking my life and limb in the line of duty, I did exceed in uncovering the existence of a new primal, and that old girl is no small feat. I have made an assistant discovery in in fact, that Lady Annette will have no choice but to acknowledge. Yes, I rather am looking forward to basking in the sunshine of her praise. Speaking of which, it isn't it time we made our triumph return? You say triumph. Praise alone, I feared the worst. What happened out there? A prom? Are you sure? Yet, now that I think on it, that this Bismarck is reminiscent in the whole world of the white whale of Valley Legend, a massive creature said to swim in the Sea of Clouds. From what I have learned of in comparable summonings, the presence of the Vanu's alt god would certainly explain the sudden change in their behaviour towards the people of Count Kytop. Ah, you mean to say that they have fallen under the Primate's influence? Recall reading in such things in the document provided by Master Alphanod. Ain't we forgetting something important, Leonette? A recognition for a, the hero of the hour? A few choice expressions of gratitude, respect and empathy, and so on? Why, yes, you're right, of course. Mistress Afmin deserves all th that's all. And among more for having risked her life to rescue such an esteemed personage. Well, if there is not else to discuss, I will depart for Ishgur forthwith. The Holy See and the Temple must... Top of nights must be informed of this new threat without delay. 
But of course, Mistress Half Moon, you have done more than enough here. Pray return to Ashgard and with Lord Horshfawn and give him the warmest regards to the Count. Is that it then? No more forces with the enemy's territory? Very well, I can see my services are no longer needed. Take care, Lady Nett. May our next meeting take take place under more future circumstances. All's well that ends well, eh? To the airship landing then, and we speak on the journey home. Okay, let's go and talk to... Let's go to the airship landing. Speak with Fisher Front on in Ishgard. Back to Foundation. Come, Mistress Half Moon. Shall I show you inside the manor? Yes. Where's Horsha Font? I think he's here. Where is he? I confess I have all, I've always have been rather fond of my airship travel. The chill of the wind upon your face, the warmth of the blood pumping in your veins from the excitement, I find the whole experience indescribably invigorating. Or mayhap it is simple the joy of having treated death yet again. Haha, <laughs> in any event, I must make for the congregation and inform Sir Emmerich of all that has occurred. Emmeline should have returned to the matter by now. Why not go and see if he's recovered from his ordeal? I assure you, I don't think he has. Well, he has, but not in the way we would hope. <laughs> he hasn't learned a thing. Oh, it's you, Violet. God, did you we have to sh strike me so hard? Father, he, he did not approve of how I handled matters in the camp truck on top, and how it endangered the lives of others through my own reckless incompetence. It's not easy praying the hero, is it? And we complete this quest and we take materia.